That breaking news comes from Miami. You are looking live at the search for survivors after at least four have been killed at a pedestrian bridge collapse. Miami Fire Chief and Florida Governor Rick Scott, they spoke to reporters in the past 90 minutes. The four people who are dead have not been identified. However, authorities say they were able to recover nine victims early on who are now at area hospitals. Tonight, we have team coverage from several angles. We start with Andy Rose with the latest from Miami. A horrifying sight at Florida International University. A pedestrian walkway collapsed Thursday afternoon. The cars were completely crushed under. Um, I know that they were able to pull one person out of the car and start performing CPR right on the street. Authorities responded to the scene shortly before 2 p.m. We encountered several vehicles that were uh, crushed as a result of this incident. We quickly shifted into a search and rescue mode with Miami-Dade Fire and Police. First responders rescued victims trapped under the 950-ton concrete span. We're using all of our equipment. We're using our search canines, and uh, we're going to continue to search this pile until we're sure that there's no other survivors. Designed to give FIU students and faculty a safe way to cross the busy intersection, the $14.2 million project has taken years of planning. Last week, local officials touted the bridge as state-of-the-art, highlighting the project's speedy construction technique. The main section of the walkway was swung into place just a few days ago. It's called the Accelerated Bridge Construction Method. Uh, this is the largest uh, one ever done in the United States. So this is a first for the United States. The cause of the collapse remains unclear. NTSB investigators will arrive on scene Thursday night. The most important thing we can do right now is pray for uh, the individuals that ended up in the hospital uh, for their full recovery. Pray for the family members that have lost loved ones. I'm Andy Rose reporting. And as we reported, state and federal investigators will work together to try to find out why this bridge collapsed. Right now, News for Jacks reporter Eric Avigny. He's interviewed a college engineering professor tonight to get his take on what could have happened. And Eric's joining us live with what that engineer had to say. Eric? Well, right now, we live in a city where there are several bridges, pedestrian bridges, just like this one, that is very quite similar to the one that collapsed in Miami earlier today. Of course, the question on everyone's mind is, how did this happen? I spoke with UNF engineer professor, prof, uh, uh, professor to get his take on that collapse. If pictures are worth a thousand words, these images tell the story of a structural failure that claimed several lives. UNF civil engineering professor Dr. Adel El Safdi says it's too early to determine what caused the bridge to collapse. From what I see right here, you cannot really tell uh, what went wrong because the damage that you're seeing right here, was it because it fell on the floor or on the ground or it failed first before uh, that and caused the collapse. This 170 foot bridge was built to withstand hurricane force winds as it spanned seven lanes of Tamiami Trail. The pedestrian bridge was designed to connect the IFIU campus to the town of Sweetwater. According to engineers, sections of the bridge were pre-constructed off-site, then assembled at this location. Dr. Osafti says that method of construction minimizes traffic disruption and eliminates weather-related problems that could halt or delay construction. He also says modular construction helps with quality control. You can test uh, the constituents for uh, this, whether it's steel or concrete or any other materials that you're having and make sure that is passing uh, certain uh, 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 limits and then you can transport it to the site. So supposedly you're going to have a perfect uh, product that's coming to the job site. But something about this bridge was not structurally sound. Now it's up to investigators to determine what went wrong. I believe that they're going to go to this failed elements and debris and start uh, digging through it and knocking out the concrete cover to come to the steel reinforcement and the internal reinforcement to see did they encounter any rupture that happened? Because the whole issue is trying to know what is the mechanism of failure. Now, Dr. Asafi says video from nearby surveillance cameras may give investigators a better idea of what happened just moments before that bridge collapsed. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.